thing. Yeah, but why would you touch those? I just put them out like nicely, well, like on assembly line. Mm -hmm. well, I wish I could put your job on an assembly line. <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> oh, you're just like, I hate you. Yo, Fernando, can you be useful tonight? Well, no, like, you're, you're useful on the back end, but don't chit chat with people and slow them down. I have no complaints, don't you yell at me. What? You guys are all such wimps. No Everybody's way too nice. It's totally true, the boss just can't be liked. Like, they're all like, oh, I have no complaints, I have no complaints. Are you kidding me? Well, here's the truth. People in line had complaints, so your complaints don't matter that much then. They were like, it's taking forever by people, that's one well, person, that's but there is a... In a spoiled society, with people who open their yaps and complain about everything. This is what I deal with. We're never getting an EWC boat. We don't even have boating clients. Our clients give crap about the boats. How many of our clients care about boats? Okay, yeah, I know you don't want to care about boat. Well, that's different, that's a yacht. Yeah, golf is where it's at with our clients. We're finishing this business report, we could have done it, but John don't, here's the problem, John don't like golf, so it's not gonna happen. He was the, he's the hardest person to create unique messaging based around. If I sat down and was like, if I went to somebody and was like, all right, so you're a financial advisor, right? Well, what do you like? Oh, well, you know, I was in the army and I'm a veteran. Okay, so you have that in common, people. Okay, and uh, you know, like, what are you passionate about? Oh, well, also, like, my church. And, uh, you know, I really like being in the community. It's like, boom, done. Okay, so you're gonna, we're going to make your messaging be a financial advisor for veterans, but then your event that we're going to do instead of these dinner events are going to be a charity fundraiser. So you're going to invite veterans only, that could be your clients, to a charity fundraiser supporting your local church. So now every veteran that supports your local church will come to your event. Now everybody that's Jewish will not, everybody that's not a part of the church will not, but then you will get people that are exactly like you. So with John, it's like, well, what do you like? He was like ATVs and we're like, we can't do a live event. ATV riding with our clients, the liabilities through the roof. So then it's like, so with you, if you were a financial advisor, I'd be like, okay, boom, golf, you actually, but you gotta actually like it and know about golf. So that you like golf, boom, done, okay. So if I was doing you and making a unique message, I'd be like, we're going to target people that like golf. And now the other portion would be, well, they like golf, so you already know where the event's gonna be. We don't even have to think about it. So the most we came up with right now is wine, so we're gonna do business owners, because John's a business owner, wine events. So instead of coming to places like this, we're just gonna do events at wineries and just have wine with our clients. And it'll be different though. It'll be us more hanging out and then them coming in for a discovery meeting. And then also we're switching the positioning Open to what mixer. Yeah, but then also after the first meeting, we might go in a direction where we're like, okay, we'll follow up with you in two weeks and let you know if we're accepting you into the company. More of like an application. It's almost like a yeah. The first, the mixer's like an interview kind of? Yeah, the mixer is like an interview and it's like so bit like, yeah, so instead of doing like, but with John, it was like, well, what do you like? Cigars, can't really do a cigar event. There's not enough of people here, okay? ATVs, can't really do an event around ATVs. So I was like, well, wine and craft beer. We might do craft beer events where it's like a craft beer tasting. Local business owners come for craft beer and finance. Picture on the, on the well, it could be on a boat because there's no good wineries around. So he, they're like, we'll find a location where you could do like a wine and cheese event. I'm like, a restaurant? People, <laughs> people run out. Yeah, so we'll have to do it somewhere unique. So then we'll gonna send out like 500 instead of sending 10,000 pieces of mail. We'll send like 500 to like businesses yeah, and it will be like. Wine exactly. So just doing different events. But with John, it's like, well, what is your hobbies? And then his main hobby, one of his biggest things is giving money away, but he's like, also, he's like, I don't wanna be the person that uses that. But it's so funny, because there's a financial advisor that's like, book a second opinion, I give money to my local market. That is his ad. Like his ad is literally, book a second opinion, we give back to the community, and then it's him like showing all the checks that he writes to donate. That is his ad. Like his ad is so much like, we donate money, here's who, look at the amount of money we donate.
donate, book a second opinion. I'm like, yo, you don't have a squatty potty? Like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, because they make your life a beautiful thing. You don't know that because you've never had a squatty potty. <laughs> How would you know if you've never had the dream? <laughs> you might be. Dude, everybody I know has one. My mom, my dad, me. gentleman she's with are going to leave if he doesn't get up. Why? Because he's obnoxious and he doesn't want to get up. Is everything okay? No it's not. Uh, he obviously either has been drinking or been taking something because I can smell mm -hmm. okay and he came to the table he's putting all chairs around it he's got a big group coming I mean we were sitting there you want to set up another table for him or we're leaving. All right. Yeah. Mr. Pone, I'm gonna have to ask you to come with me real quick. No, it's it's not me. It's not me. I have no problem. I'm still gonna have to ask you to come with me for a few minutes, sir, sure, if you, you don't mind. Right You're making the people at the table extremely uncomfortable. She's the one who um, made it come to me. I did nothing. Okay, well, that's what she's telling me. I don't care what she's telling you, sir. All right, sir. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave because that's what I'm being told at the table. And I'm not here to argue with you. Right. I was gonna allow you. Other to, side, then. I was gonna let you do that, but once you tell me that I'm wrong, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. So I'm gonna have my gentleman over there go get your things, and then we're gonna escort you out. Fernando, can you go get stuff off the table, please? Walk with me, Gary, please. I have caused no problem at all. I have not caused any problems. You also smell like you've been drinking quite a bit. I had a beer in that school, but I'm fine. I just sat down and when I was moving stuff, she just started talking to me and pushing stuff away. I'm fine. I've never seen the woman before. I sat on the other side, move over there with my friend. I came with parents and friends. I'm fine. If I let you sit right up there, if I have any more issues, I'm going to immediately ask you to leave if okay. anyone comes up to me. Okay, that's the one way the woman wants to be. Fine. So if you want to, you can sit right up there in the right. front. If they have any issues at the table with you, I'm going to ask you to immediately get up and leave. How can I have any issues? I've done nothing wrong. Well, I'll move over there. I don't know. Okay. I'll but move the stuff. I, know I just people. have to make sure everybody's comfortable in the I area. I understand. I understand. So feel free to sit up there. I know the Barons. They've been to quite a few events. Yes, and I know the old lady Ruth and Pamela. They're my friends. I invited them. Mm -hmm. I know them. They're not complaining about me. All so right. I'll we'll go just have a seat right I'll up be. front. Fine. Let me go if get you have my any water issue? and everything. Absolutely. Um, he's like, I'm not causing any issue. He doesn't really smell that like he's been drinking that much. What did the lady say he said, though? He didn't really say he said anything. She was just like... He's been drinking and he's been grabbing things. So I was like, I walked him over and was like, he really didn't say anything. She's like, I'm making me uncomfortable. And then I'm like, she's like, I'm gonna leave. So I'm like, okay, well, there's more, you know, and not to mention he's been here a bunch of times. So I was like, hey, can you get up walk with me? He walks with me. But then I was like, they're making, you know, you're making him feel uncomfortable. And he's like, I'm not. He kind of got like, you know, defensive. And I was like, if you're gonna get defensive, I'm just gonna ask you to leave. You know what I mean? Like, we're not gonna do this. Because I was about to be like, you could sit up front. And then he's like, but I'm not doing anything. And I was like, we're not here to have a debate. I'm either ask you to leave. He's like, but I'm not doing anything. And I was like, they've been saying you've been drinking. And he didn't really smell like he's been drinking that much. So I was like, okay. I was like, we'll seat you up front. I was like, if anyone says a word at you about you, I'm immediately asking you to leave and you're out of here. I was like, so, and I was like, I don't care. I was like, I don't care if she said Where's you jumped up. Where's his buddy, he's not here yet? No, but I was like, I don't care. You know me. I'm like, I'm I don't care. I don't care if they made up all the lies in the world on you. If they're gonna leave, we need to separate you. So I was just like, I can't have ladies feeling uncomfortable. And he's like, All right, I understand. What's up? Yes. The people left. Is it all right to go back to my table? They left? Yes, they did. Um, well, if you're already seated, I don't see why you would move. But if they headed on out, that's interesting. Yes, it is, and I've been gypped or whatever. I have no idea what that woman's talking about. I am not sure either, but if you could just stay where you're seated, I would prefer it that way. These are my friends over there. Please just stay where you are. All right, I guess I have to sit alone. Please, just stay. All since right, all right. I'm not coming. If I was a lawyer, I'd be like, yeah, I'd, I'd be like, we need to change this law to be like private events are just the same as if it was your property. 
because like that guy could literally ruin. Actually, it's more impactful. Here's the truth of it. I would rather strangle the guy, take him out, because I don't care if you won't leave my house because it doesn't cost me money. You don't leave here and you cause a scene, you can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like, he was like begging Mike, poor guy. So, I was, about the, saying I can't? I was like, you bet. Like, I was like, three more bags, and I was like, now you gotta leave again. Because <laughs> he was drunk. I could tell that really? time. Yeah, he was like going like this. And I was like, oh, you don't like, he's like, he's one of those dudes. I was like, I tell you no, he starts getting all like fidgety. I was like, you don't like the word no, do you? I was like, you probably never heard that in your life. I was like, guess what? I will tell you no, I'll tell you no again. I'll make you literally fidget. He was like, I was telling him no. And he was like, what? What? He's one of those dudes that he's like, he probably has like a million dollars. He's like, nobody tells me no, I'm a millionaire. And it's like, dude, a million dollars is nothing. Dream. Keep, like, relax. Good thing if you have some assets, but that is not the deciding factor of wanting to work with you. The man who was dealing with the fraud on American Express yeah. has the victory book at his spot. He hasn't put it back on the table yet. <laughs> I saw him pick it up. This is why we need Pat in the vlog. Before John talked. So the guy in this room got hit with fraud charges on his credit card, right? So he's taking care of it over here, but also, he also, as currently at the moment, has taken John's book and he hasn't put it back. So the guy that got identity theft and fraud now looks like he's going to be a thief. I've never had to confront someone that wants to steal a book, but we also can't get those books easily anymore because the way those books work is like there's multiple authors, so there's multiple different covers. So to have that exact book, kind of have to pay like full price for it, not cheap. So I've never had to confront someone, but if he like starts to walk out with it, I might have to be like, you can take the little book, you can't take the blue book. Not the blue book. Their defense is the roads are slippery. Un Dead guilt. Bernard, unfortunately, those books there, they haven't been approved by the SEC as of yet. We have other copies in, in the building, so we're gonna actually need the, the, the book. I'm gonna need the book back. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, no problem. No. And again, when you come in, you'll, we have the ones that are, that are scheduled and whatnot. No, no, absolutely. No problem. You guys enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you here. All right. Enjoy your meal. It looks delicious. Gave me this. Yeah. And he's, I was like, no, 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 the, the book. And he like started fumbling, fussling through stuff. Wait, you wanted, you didn't book appointment? He wanted to call me back. He got all nervous, and he then he started asking me if I'm related to John, and I was like, No, I'm not related to John. And but yeah, he's like, Well, I just took it because we wanted to just kind of look through it while we were eating, and I was like, Oh yeah, it's like yeah. So, but let's, but let's be honest. It, did you feel like he took it to eat, or he totally was trying? To he was so nervous. He was like stuttering and like he like so started he like to thieve that. oh absolutely no doubt he had it underneath like six things it was like buried over and out hey everybody thank you so much for tuning in really appreciate it hope you enjoyed the videos if you got some more free time i know you do make sure you check this video out right here and if you don't like that one make sure you check this one out too or just watch them both see you guys soon